This video is sponsored by Altium. Hello and welcome to the first module of this course. In this lecture, we will provide you with an overview of the UNet segmentation. So before moving on, let's start with the basic understanding of image classification. Image classification is the task of categorizing or assigning a label to an image. So here we have an example image of a cat. Being a human, we can easily recognize the different features in this image and classify it as a cat. However, for a computer, it is not an easy task. A computer sees the image in the form of pixel values. It takes those pixel values and assigns a label based on their interpretation. In a simpler way, we can say that image classification is a task of assigning a single value to a group of pixels. So as a result, every pixel belongs to the same class. Now let's move to our next question. What is image segmentation? Image segmentation is the process of classifying each pixel of an image into a separate class. Here we have an example of image classification used for separating pixels into two classes. On the left side we have what we call an RGB image. And on the right side we have its binary mask. We take the image and classify its pixels into two different classes. Background and foreground. The black region in this mask represents the background class and the white region in this mask represents the main class and the foreground of the image. This helps us to identify and extract the main region of interest from a given image. Here in this dataset, our main region of interest is a human. So with the help of image segmentation, we are able to extract a certain region from this image. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task, with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise, and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with lint tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. In this lecture, we are going to get a better understanding of UNET. UNET is a convolutional neural network architecture that was developed for biomedical image segmentation by Olaf Ronneberger in the year 2015 at the University of Freiburg, Germany. It is one of the most popularly used architectures for any segmentation task. It is a fully convolutional neural network that is designed to learn from a fewer training sample. Here in this figure, we have a block diagram of UNET which is a U-shaped encoder-decoder architecture. On the left side of the diagram, we have four encoder blocks, and on the right side of the diagram, we have four decoder blocks. One of the main features of UNET is the use of this encoder-decoder structure. Here we have an image that displays the overall architecture of UNET. First, the encoder receives the input image, then extracts useful features from that image using multiple convolutional layers. The decoder then upsamples the features using the transpose convolution and concatenates them with a process called skip connection. So, as a result, we get a segmentation mask as the output from this network. Another important feature of UNET is the use of skip connection. Skip connection, as the name suggests, skips some of the layers in the neural network and feeds the output of one layer as the input to the next layers. If you look closely at this figure, you will be able to see the arrows representing the skip connection process. This process helps to transfer the selected features directly from the encoder to the decoder part of the network, which as a result helps the decoder to generate a better segmentation mask.